Hi guys, it's Richard from Grafting Dragon Fruits, and today I'm going to show you guys how I remove the flower from the dragon fruits, so that way it doesn't cause any rot. Uh, sometimes moisture can get into the flower, and bugs likes to hide in them, and they can start eating it from inside out. So that's why I like to remove them after about four to five days. It takes about two to three days for the stigma to transfer the pollen to the fruit to have it um, set, so that way your fruit can stay and not abort. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys the flowers that are ready to take off. How I can tell is it starts to get yellow around here. So this one is almost ready. I'm going to try one that's super ready like this one right here. It's starting to already crack. Okay, so here we go. I just go like this up, down, left, right. And then give it a little bit of a twist and I pull it all out. And I just leave the stigma on. Once this dries up and then it gets smaller once they dry up, then it's easier to pull out. But at this state, I kind of just leave it on. I don't mess with them. And if you guys look, there's already kind of fungus moisture growing inside. And this is why I get rid of the flowers. You don't need this. You just need the fruit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start taking off some more. So here's another one that's ready. You see how it's starting to separate itself? It's green. It's yellow. Here I go again. I go left right up and down and sometimes you gotta give it a little twist and you pull it right off again more moisture rotting stuff that you don't want on your dragon fruit okay so i'm gonna continue to keep on removing the flowers Here we go. There's someone here. Okay, I'm gonna attempt this one. It doesn't look too ready yet, but oh, okay, it's coming right off. So about four to five days, guys, is when after I pollinate the the dragon fruit, that's when I'll remove the flower. So I know these fruits are set because they are getting bigger and they are getting really hard. Here's another one. This one looks about ready. Same thing. This one is not quite ready yet, but since I already started on it, I have to commit and then take the whole thing off. There we go. These ones look ready. See how it's really yellow inside? It's starting to separate from green to yellow. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this one was so much easier than the last one I just did. That one's probably needed one more day, but I already started, so I had to take it off. This one, let's see. Yep, this one's ready. And here we go. Woo. This is what's gonna look like after you guys take off the uh, flower. It just grows nice. There's, it's a dry inside, so nothing's living in there. You can see exactly what's going on. And this one is starting to become really pretty and nice. So once you take pictures, there's not a flower dangling. All right, let's continue. So, oh wow, see this one, it's already separated right there. Uh, I'm just gonna finish doing the rest. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it because I want to make sure all my fruits are pretty. There's no insects getting onto them and they start to eat at the skin and it has all these speckles. And you don't want that. You want your fruit to look perfect, right? So, so once these dries up and they become easier to pull out, I'll make another video to show you guys how I do that. It's very easy. You basically just hold onto it and pluck it off. Check this out guys, they're still blooming. There's one, two, three, four, five, six on this branch. They're all growing pretty nicely. So I'm gonna have probably over a hundred dragon fruits this year through my whole garden. I have about six, seven, eight Vietnam whites planted into the ground and they're all one year old and this year they're all producing me fruit. So my family's super happy, I'm super happy and I can't wait to harvest them. And of course, I'll be making a video once I do that. Here comes another one. Okay. 
So this one is not quite ready. If you guys look here, it's still green and it's turning yellow barely. So we're gonna leave this one probably another day. Let me check on this one. Oh yes. That one definitely needs to be taken off. So I just grabbed the chair. Oh, yep, you see the yellow and the green? This one is ready. Oh, see how easy that was to take off? Up, down, left, right, and pull. That's it. Here's another one. Let's check this one out. Okay, so if you guys look, there's some separation going. I think this one could wait one more day. Let me just give it a little nudge and see how it is. Oh, actually, it's coming off. So you can always test it by just, you know, wiggling left, right, up, down. See what it does. If it breaks off, then go ahead and take off your flower. So I think that's it for all the fruits that need to be deflowered. That's how I do it. And you guys can do it too if you want. It really makes your fruit really pretty once they start to ripen up, as you can see from this one. So if you guys like watching what I did here, please hit the like button. If you guys have any comments about me, how I to remove the flower or anything about my dragon fruits, leave it in the comment sections and I will reply back to you guys as soon as I can. If you guys wanna see more grafting and dragon fruit videos, please hit the subscribe button so that way you guys won't miss a single thing. Thanks guys, have a wonderful day now, bye.